Counting Sheep. And I've got some more triggers for you tonight. Um, and I kind of think these are fun. Some of them are tools. And then I've got the cutest little music box that I got as a Christmas gift that I'll play at the very end. So, simple tools. Here we go. Um, and I've got on my son's beautiful silk scarf that he gave me. Um, the first one you'll recognize. It's just a whole bunch. But it kind of makes a relaxing sound, so I thought I would play with that. And it has the little plastic lip on it. Another simple tool is this wrench, and it's the adjustable kind, so we'll adjust it wide and smaller. See how tight this one goes. Don't think it closes all the way. go. And I'll just play with there's a little bit of that texture. It's from Sears. Don't see as many Sears now. There's one here in Oregon that's open, but a lot of them have closed down. So the old department store. Remember looking through the Sears and Roebuck catalog at Christmas toys when I was little and my brother would make up what all the toys did. I'd say, what does this one do? What does this one do? And he would just make it up. I, now I know. But back then I thought he just knew everything. And um, of course maybe they were simple enough that he could figure it out. But I would just look at those toys and dream and think, oh, what it would be like to have that toy and play with that. I remember one Christmas. I don't know if I've told this story before, but one Christmas, I woke up, uh, I wanted a um, tea set. And so I had this tea set, I can hear my phone ringing. I had this tea set that I um, put in, um, out to Santa that I wanted. And sorry, I'm being distracted by that phone. I'm gonna wait for a second for it to stop. waking up Christmas morning and just seeing tea, a tea set spread all over under the tree and up the stairs. I just thought Santa was going to bring me this giant tea set. And I ended up getting this box that had a full tea set in it. Um, it really was beautiful. China. Um, and, uh, it, but for some reason, my, my little heart was kind of disappointed when I came down the stairs and it wasn't quite how I pictured it. So anyway, um, okay, then this is, we know what that is, is a screwdriver, but this is one of those that has interchangeable ends. So I love this because it trades um, to be a flathead and Phillips, so I can just go either way there. And it also changes sizes, so I can take the entire rod out and switch it. And then this is the bigger bit on this end, which also switches out to be a Phillips and a flathead. So I took this one with me because it has so many functions. 
for just being a simple tool. And I've used it actually quite a bit since I've been out here. It's funny how you just need them sometimes. Sometimes it's to pry something open. Sometimes it's to use it really as a screwdriver. And then my last trigger. trigger is the music box and I'm just going to hope that I get it at the right distance. I'm going to just tap on it a little first. It's just in a box. There's some really cute shops here in town and um, my roommate bought this for me which is very sweet and I rent a room from her and that's such a scary thing when you don't know who it is and she turned out to be a really great person so that was nice. So this is something when we were out shopping that I just loved. They had about three or four different songs that played on different music boxes. So she got this one for me, which was really sweet. And see if you recognize the song. It generally worked to help him sleep. 